What is up guys, Crafter here, and today we are setting up in all the mods 8 Minecraft server. First thing you're going to want to do is open up CurseForge. Now if you don't have CurseForge, don't worry, I've got a link for you in the description. And you can go ahead and download it real quick. And then we're going to go to Minecraft, Browse Mod Packs. All the mods 8 should be near the top because it's recommended, or you can just search for it here at the top if you don't see it. But it should be there. Then you're going to hit Install. Now, as you can see, it's downloading the mods for my client. It is 324 mods, so it is quite a lot. So you will need a server or at least a lot of RAM in your PC or a server from a host that has a lot of RAM. If you right click your Windows icon, you can go to system and there you'll see how much RAM you have right here. I have 48 gigabytes, so I have quite a bit. You're going to want to have 7 gigabytes or more if you're going to be playing with your friends. And your server will like crash or have issues or even lag if you don't have 7 plus gigs. Depending on how many friends you have and if you guys are constantly generating new chunks. If you're finding that your server is lagging and you want to get a server host that's really cheap and affordable and has 24-7 support, I highly recommend Shockbyte. I've been using them for years, even before becoming an affiliate. And if you want to support my channel, you can go ahead and use my link in the description to get a Shockbyte server. Once it's installed, you're going to want to download the server pack. Because I'm using Chrome, you can see it downloading now. You're going to want to right click on it and then hit show in folder. Once it's done downloading and you have it in your downloads folder, you're going to want to drag it onto your desktop. If you guys have OneDrive or a virtual hard drive, make sure to put it on a physical hard drive. Otherwise, you're going to have issues and you won't be able to run the server. We're going to want to open it up. If you need a free program for opening up zip files, WinRAR sucks. It's going to ask you to pay for it. Use 7-Zip. It's free and it works flawlessly. Links also are all going to be in the description. We're going to want to take our server file folder, drag it onto our desktop. Now that it is transferred, we can go ahead and close out of the zip file here. You can even delete it if you want to. Maybe not remove it from a trash can in case something goes wrong. You're going to open this up. You're going to want to run your Forge installer. Now you're going to want to hit install server. And you're actually going to want to select this server folder that you have on your desktop. You're going to select desktop, server files 1.0.7 or whatever version that it's on. Once it finishes, just hit OK. You're going to have a run shell script. We can actually delete that one. We just need the batch file. We're going to double click that. It's going to say you need to agree to the EULA. If it doesn't create a EULA file, this is because you do not have Java 8. Go to the description. Again, I have a link for you there. You're going to open up your EULA file. You're just going to change this to true. It's pretty much saying that if you have a public server, you can only sell cosmetics. You're going to hit run again after you've saved that file and closed it. Then you're going to go back to your CurseForge and hit play on all the mods 8. This next part is super important, so please don't skip in the video. You have to port forward. Your friends will not be able to join your server if you do not port forward. And I have a link for you again in the description. It's a simple tutorial just like this one. I'm not trying to waste your time with tons of ads or funny jokes that aren't relevant. We're going to get this done and I'm going to do it with you. If you need help at all, please join my Discord. I provide a link for you in the description. Once Minecraft's loaded up, you're just going to hit play on all the mods 8, hit play. Loading up the server is going to take some time, and again, it's going to take a lot of RAM as well. Alright, we can see this done message here, but this means our server is done and running. So now, once your all the mods 8 has loaded up on your client side, you're going to go to multiplayer, add server. You can name it whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. For the server address, you're going to type in localhost, or you can literally just put the number 0 and then hit done. You're going to see that it's in all the mods 8 server, just as we set up here, and you can go ahead and join. Your friends for the IP will type in your public IP, which you can see on canyouseeme.org, but again, it won't work unless you port forward. Once you've loaded in yourself and you've port forwarded, your friends will be able to join you, and you'll be able to play Minecraft on your all the mods 8 server with them. I hope you guys enjoy. As you can see, it gets some pretty good FPS. I'm getting like 70, 80 frames. Again, if you need a server host or you'd like to support this channel and support me for not wasting your time and giving you some free help on Discord, go ahead and use my link in the description to Shockbite. You can save 25% with code DECACRAFTER. And I'll see you guys in the next video.